Colburn Bible Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 54, Family, Relationship, Son. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR, 54, 15. Guide, but never drive. Always treat his mother with respect and affection. For if you find contentment and joy with your wife, he will find them with his. Leave him not with a heritage of sorrow. NPR, 54, 16. So shall he grow in comeliness and strength. A man of honor, noble and straightforward in his ways. A real man, he shall rise above lesser men as a great oak rises above the brushwood. And though you may have failed in all else, this achievement will set the crown of success on your life. NPR, 54, 17. The virgin soil is yours to cultivate as you will. It is fertile and responsive. Let it not want for care, for if it be unhusbanded, it will remain barren, unproductive. The good pasture that is neglected produces weeds in abundance. And who is blamed? The pasture or the husbandman. NPR 5418 The seed which you sow will produce a crop to be reaped in the fullness of time. The weeds you neglect to pull up will multiply and pollute the harvest. A harvest of gladness and pride can be yours, according to your sowing and attention. So shall you reap. NPR 5419 Deposit with him your treasures of stored knowledge, your hopes and aspirations, and he will accumulate a profit greater than your dreams. He may transmute the ashes of failure and bitterness into the gold of success. Think well about your appearance in his eyes. For to him you are the inspiration or the handicap. The parents or adults will set the foundations, but it must not be to destroy the child's free will. You must teach the child not just use discipline. In another chapter it pointed out, if discipline is needed, you should realize the fault is not just the child. You were to instill in a child wisdom. If you choose to show them arrogance, that's your fault. If you expose them to people that act like savages and show how much you like that type of person, they will emulate that. They want to honor you. They see what you like and embrace that. All of this happens before age 10, well before the age of possibility started. Then the time of them needing to make sense of other families will make them start asking why. How a parent handles that time and what they valued before age 10 will soon bear fruit. You haven't even got to the rebellion of puberty wars, and already you are seeing the preview of how bad it will become. The mind will choose someone for problem solving. The soul, one for character. The trauma will be the defining moment, and those you introduce into the child's life. How you behave toward those people will define how they see you. Will they respect you? All this even before puberty starts. In verses like this, you don't even begin to get the full impact of what is happening. For some reason, we don't even consider our own childhood might have value. I suspect language of perception acts as a trigger, activating rules of behavior. Holding a child activates a rule that limits what you need to know. The people that don't have children are still able to see the damage you inflict and are the ones that are often told they can't know the burdens until they have a child. I can't prove it, but I am capable of understanding these words have small amounts of what is a huge puzzle. Your creativity must be dynamic if you are to succeed in raising children that will be of value to society. You and most important to who they are.